My name is Alex. My name is Gina. Samara. Soraya. Mimi. I live in Brooklyn. Jersey City. Jersey City. New York City. I am looking for a guy that is intelligent, sexy, great style, goofy, a lot of money, first class, knows how to speak his mind, family values, very funny all the time, who can handle me all day and all night. Don't be lazy. Just a little bit submissive. I appreciate you coming out and meeting me. It's odd to meet someone that you've actually never met in person before. Woo! <laughs> that was the first time I opened the bottle of champagne. I'm glad I didn't poke your eyeball out. I am a Are mess. you nervous? I, I think I am a little bit. I've never done this. What are the qualities you look for in a man? Somebody who's intellectual and I'm can sorry. hold. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. I got a quick text. Really? So what are the qualities you look for in a man? Somebody who doesn't answer their cell phone at the table. Don't let it happen again. I won't. Someone who's patient. Arrogance depending on which form. Great goals. You're nodding your head yes, but I don't feel like you're really into this. What do you look for in a girl? Because obviously you're not interested to hear what I look for in a guy. No, I, I am interested. What I look for in a woman is someone who's goal oriented, nice, doesn't have a sense of entitlement, that can just be real. Honesty, family values, value of his career, because I host shows, so. Me too. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So you know how it is. It's like completely engulfed my life. I really haven't had an opportunity to have a personal life. I know how that feels. I have some uh, champagne. I have to correct that. The proper way to serve champagne, thumb hole. Is that why the hole's there? Yes, tilt of the glass, pour. Never do that again. A woman in charge that knows how to pour champagne. I well, madam, would you pour me a glass of champagne, please? Yes, of course. How do you know how to pour champagne? I actually bought a waitress. What do you do for a living? I'm a makeup artist. I work as a designer. What don't I do for a living? Whoa, very okay. aggressive girl. <laughs> what about you? I host a show called Fashion News Live. I do red carpet events. Imagine a fashion blogger, but video. I've seen you. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, I like that. What's the weirdest thing that's ever happened on a date? I showed up at his apartment. I rang the doorbell. And he opened up the door, and he was completely naked. Wow. I didn't expect it and I didn't appreciate it at all. I went on a date once and I really liked the guy. I kind of wanted to kiss him, but I was standoffish because his lips were usually really chapped. He's very like, blah. Sometimes I like that look. Not when their hygiene is nasty. I'm mean, imagining you getting naked with this guy. And you're sweating because you were so layered. We go to the movies and you try to put your arm around me, but I push away a little bit and make it obvious that I don't want you That's to do disgusting. that. That's disgusting. You should have sent him a bar of soap. What do you do for fun? I love live music shows. I like to work for fun. I so try to spend as much time with my family as I can. I cook. You know a way to a man's heart's through a stomach, right? Yes. That's what I learned from my culture. You're Taiwanese, right? Yeah. What's a deal breaker? Somebody that doesn't like cats and dogs. I live with both. Someone who had everything too much going on for himself because I like to be the center of attention. Someone who's not thoughtful, insecure, and cheap. I just hate guys that like act like little babies. I think I just got bit by a mosquito. Wow. It's like a mask. What? I don't know why you just put freaking champagne on my face. I think this date's over. Yeah, that's over. It's over. Can you believe she just did that? She totally ruined my outfit. Champagne in the face? It burnt my eyes. I can't believe he just touched me like that. It's like the worst day I ever have. I don't think that there was a lot of chemistry between us. I just didn't feel that spark or connection with him. I don't feel like he was really interested in what I was saying. I'm not really into a guy that doesn't listen. It's kind of drab. I kind of need someone a little bit more rare. It's really great to meet someone who understands what my life is like. Hopefully we'll go on a second date. Today, I took myself out on a limb. I had a blind date with multiple women. One that stood out in specific, Mimi. When I touched her hand, there was a connection there. I'm definitely gonna call Mimi up and see if she wants to hang out again. And I don't think Mimi's gonna throw champagne in my face. Watch out for the champagne throwing woman.